This game engine is actually incredible. Look at this. So this is Play Canvas. Play Canvas is a completely web native game engine. And before you click off the video, let's just have a look at one of the games we can play with this game engine. Venge IO. It's a completely browser native FPS. And yes, this is super low poly, but this game engine and I got killed. This is actually an online match. I didn't realize that this game engine is actually capable of a lot more than what you're seeing. This guy could be playing on an iPhone. He could be playing on like a tablet, really anything. Okay. He's running away. Come back. Where's the other guy? So yeah, this is a completely online game and it's running in native JavaScript, which means this is just being interpreted by the browser like any other web page. It's not like running in an iframe or having a bunch of like conversions done when you port your game to the web. This is actually running this is written in JavaScript and it's running JavaScript. The entire engine is open source. It means you can modify it, load it back into your game, make any changes you want, and it will be alive forever. No one can take it away from you. So let's just dive into the editor, shall we? So, okay, so we're in the Play Canvas editor. This is actually running in the browser. I use Arc, and so it looks a bit weird, but I'm using uh, my browser to run this editor. And it's written in JavaScript. Everything is written in JavaScript and it runs beautifully. It feels very familiar compared to Unity. And uh, over here, I think we have our hierarchy. Down here, we have some like assets and things, your asset, uh, your asset library for your project. You have a bunch of configuration, a bunch of options. And this, you've got your inspector on the right. It's basically the same as Godot or, or really any other game engine editor that you have used in the past. There are some exciting things because Play Canvas is built on top of the web and they are really, they seem to just want people to create and share games written with Play Canvas. And so you can launch your game with one button and it will launch in a browser window. So this is the game. This, <laughs> this game engine is actually incredible. Look at this. This is running in the browser. Crazy, no frame drop at all. Super simple example, but what? So because it's running in the browser, you can just open up your developer tools like you would do for any other website. You can monitor the network traffic. You can monitor your console, navigate the um, the HTML tree. You can also, uh, you can filter your logs. You can also um, do a performance scan on it. You can do a lighthouse scan on it. You could also uh, monitor network traffic if you're making a bunch of API requests for a multiplayer game or something like that. And don't forget, if you're building a multiplayer game, it doesn't matter what device your users are, your players are using. How do I share it? Publish. So they have a publish button, and this allows you to publish the project to anybody. So I can click this. I can give a description. I can give a version and I can hit publish now, and it will just publish the game, just kind of like Roblox. If I click this link, anyone with this link, this one I believe, can just play my game in the browser, just like that, distributed straight away. But if you don't like that, and you don't want to host it on Play Canvas, that's actually cool, because I believe they also have a download.zip button. This is awesome. If you have done any web development or you want to whack some of your games in a portfolio or something like that, you can download the project as a zip file and it will just compile a normal web project. There's an HTML file in there. There's CSS scripts. All of your, your assets are downloaded as well. So I can download this. It will prepare the build and then you could just publish this to a CICD pipeline, maybe in Git or something. So I've the build is ready. I'm downloading the build. It's downloaded almost instantly. Let's open it up. We've got the engine as a single minimized JavaScript file. This is the engine. It's a single file. Let's have a look. I've opened it up in VS Code. This is the game engine. It's open source. I mean, this is the minimized version, so it looks kind of chaotic. And it's open source on GitHub. Every time you download the project from Play Canvas, I believe it gives you a copy of the game engine. And this is why you can modify it and you can just swap it out for your own modification. So you can fork the engine, still use the like editor and things like that online. But if you want to swap out how physics works or you want to make it more efficient or something, you can just swap it out here. That's kind of mad. 
I think you can also swap it out within the editor as well, but I haven't found out where to do that. Um, so this is style CSS file <laughs> as well. So you, all your styles are in here and then all of your game files are in the files directory, I believe. So these are all your game assets. It looks kind of crazy on the export, but most of the time you're gonna be spending your life in the editor. So this doesn't really matter, I don't think. Now, I'm not much of a game dev, if I'm totally honest. I am mainly in the web dev AI world. I did create one project earlier. This is Mia. I'm going to open Mia in the editor because that's where it looks the coolest. And this, I wanted to basically play around with a skybox and with bringing some like higher fidelity assets and things and just kind of fly around and see like what does the lighting look like is it possible to get like natural i mean i am not a professional but is it possible to get good looking lighting and and like l good quality characters by the way this character was generated using ai and a mid-journey image of <laughs> and it came back with this what uh, that is a site that's a tangent but yeah this is all running in native javascript in the browser and it looks amazing really really incredible so yeah so this is play canvas if you like this walkthrough please don't forget to subscribe but play canvas is incredible the performance on web is unparalleled in my opinion and the tools it gives you and the freedom it gives you to just deploy something really quick and keep testing and keep giving things to your use to your player groups and things like that getting the feedback it's just incredible and uh, i really really hope to see play canvas uh, succeed where others have failed before Amazing work, Play Canvas team.